afternoon or almost evening I guess I'm just cutting back some of my plants this leaf was like I don't know I probably should have cut it a little bit better than that but um this one got ripped up too but I'm just gonna take one off at a time and I definitely have to trim all this mint back so that everything else doesn't get smothered in there and um I don't know, this part of this vine's not doing so great. And I'll have to deadhead some of these flowers here. And then I'm gonna go make myself an Asian pancake, or a Korean pancake, I guess you call it. And I'm gonna call it a day after that. So I will talk to you all probably after I make the pancake, probably tomorrow. I have lots of videos coming up. And this one here, she's losing her million bells. I did order my duck cover. And I think I get it on Wednesday. And I, you know, you order on Amazon and I'm not prime or anything. They like push you to be prime. Like they wouldn't even let me put my order through unless I agreed to it. You get a free month. Well, I'm canceling and I don't use it, but I can't find the, I got it for like 55 bucks. You can't find it anywhere else for under like 80. So this thing's getting really heavy. Anyways, I'm going to run in and make my pancake, and I'll talk to you all later, as soon as I finish cleaning up. Good evening, everybody. I just don't feel like cooking tonight, so I am going to make a Korean pancake. So I have shredded cabbage, two kinds, green and purple, and some shredded carrots. And I'm making two of them tonight. I make them the size of the pan. But that's all I eat, too. Sometimes I add some shrimp or something, but I'm not tonight. And then I have, or maybe I will. I have, think I have four or five left. I might. I'll see. I chop up a bunch of cilantro. This is a great night to clean out the fridge with all the vegetables. Now, I did walk up and get the sprouts in the bag there. Usually, I buy them fresh from the market, but I didn't feel like driving anywhere today because every time I go out, all I do is spend money, so... I'm going to stay in the house and I have enough fruits and vegetables in the house that I need to eat up before I even think of going to a grocery store. I'm going to cut up a couple green onions. I just clean them up and cut the ends off. And um, I add two, uh, tonight, usually I add one egg, but I'm doubling the recipe tonight. I'm adding two fresh eggs and I'll do a handful of sprouts here as well. So I'm just gonna rinse off my sprouts and I just shake them dry. Like I just use a big handful. So I'll do that. I'm just gonna, I just cut up my onions. I kind of break them up a little bit. I cut them on a diagonal sort of. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of peppers in here. These aren't very hot. Not at all actually. I just like everything has to have a little kick for me, right? Gives me some flavor flav. Sesame oil, I do about two, maybe three squeezes of this. Nothing major. It's actually, sesame oil is pretty strong. Um, sesame seeds, I probably do about, I don't know, a teaspoon. And then I add my two eggs. Usually it's just one, but like I said, I'm doubling the recipe. Oh, sorry, I have a piece of shell in there. And I add probably a heaping handful of the sprouts because I'm doubling the recipe. I'm just going to rinse them. That's a big handful, but like I said, it's doubling. Um, or it'd be two people, I guess you'd say. Now for my, um, I don't use flour or anything. I just sprinkle a little bit of corn uh, flour on top. Corn starch, I should say, not corn flour. Probably, it's probably about a tablespoon or a teaspoon and I use my hands because I kind of crush it all together all the vegetables mixed in together and I just kind of massage the egg into it now you could scramble the two eggs before you put it in here but I just mix it all really quick my hands are clean I washed before I started cooking I was out playing in the garden. I had not, I had to wash. You should have seen my nails. And, you know, they even get dirty through the gloves. It's just amazing, actually. But I'm um, just going to break it down just a little bit. And then I usually let it rest probably about 15 to 20 minutes, something like that. 
and I'm going to make a dipping sauce for it. I, I think I have a little bit left over in the fridge, but I'm going to add to it. Now for my dipping sauce, I have a little bit left over, but I'm going to add probably a tablespoon of brown sugar. Um, I'll do sesame oil again. I just, I don't know, three, four squirts. I love sesame oil. It just changes the flavor so much. And then I'm running low on soy sauce, but I'll probably use about a quarter cup, maybe. I'll save a little bit in case I need it for another recipe until I get up to the supermarket. And, oh, I forgot my sesame seeds. I like to add fresh sesame seeds in here, too. And also, I did have one garlic that I'm going to add into the pancake. So I just sprinkle in there, maybe a teaspoon or so. Put the lid back on. And then I just uh, shake it all up. And this keeps in the fridge for, for quite a while, just like any other condiment, I guess, does. You could add garlic to this as well, but I don't have enough garlic left over to do that. Plus, it doesn't stay fresh as long, so it's better not to do that. So I'm just going to slice up this garlic, and then I'll add that into my pancake mix. I don't. It's not really a pancake. It's just my version of a pancake, or the Koreans' version of a pancake. I don't know if they had anything different. The first time I ever had this was in a Korean restaurant, and I just kind of made it my own version. So I'm probably not doing it 100% the way they do it, but I absolutely love this dinner. It's one of my favorite dinners. So like I said before, I haven't been in the mood to cook, but I am going to make a Jamaican stewed beef and dumpling and plantain. Probably won't do rice. I might. I don't think so. Maybe I'll do a sweet potato or something. But um, I absolutely like that dinner, too. It's really good. But I just have to be in the mood to make it because that takes a bit of while to stew that down, right? I bought um, a couple sirloin steaks because it was cheaper than buying uh, stewing beef, if you can believe that. Uh, so I just said, you know what? I'll just stew it down nice and slow. I'll make it nice and soft. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this all together. I'm going to let it rest, and I'll show you when I'm frying it up. See you in a minute. Okay, this is the pan I use. Um, I think it's a roti pan, to be honest, or a flatbread pan. And I have this oil, and it's infused olive oil. And this one is with uh, green chili peppers. So I just put a little bit on here, not even much, not even a teaspoon, maybe. No, that's not even a teaspoon. I can smell it already. And I just kind of swirl it around my pan until it gets hot. And then I um, put my pancake on there. Just gonna wait for it to get hot. Okay, now when I get it on there, I just kind of move it around a little bit until I fill out the pan. I cook this on medium heat. I don't cook it really fast and just kind of squish it down and then I flip it with a plate. Oops. Sorry about that. I don't add salt to this because it just brings the water out in the cabbage and stuff. So if you want to salt it later, you can. I don't bother because I'm using soy sauce. So there's enough salt in that, right? And just let this cook down. The egg kind of binds it together, I guess. And I'll let it cook, and when I go to flip it, I'll show you. Looks good, though. It's a great dinner. I decided I'm going to have a few uh, fried shrimp. I just have a little bit of oil in there. I don't have any oil. Le uh, that's leftover oil. I'm glad I saved it. Um, I think I have five or six um, breaded shrimp. So I'm going to add that to the mix here. Sounds good. Okay, I just put my second one on. I'm just gonna cook it slow and my dinner's ready. I just dropped the fork. I'm gonna try it. I don't have any sauce on here yet, but. Oh yeah. It's so good, really it is. Gotta try this recipe. 
quick, easy, very low calorie. It's just vegetables, a few shrimp. That's only like 200 calories. It's under a 400 calorie dinner, that's for sure. So quick and easy and full of flavor. Okay, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Okay, that's my second pancake. As soon as it cools, I'm gonna put it away for lunch tomorrow. I won't have the shrimp because I don't have any more, but the shrimp are really good actually. Um, the dipping sauce turned out nice too. I am gonna close and I'll definitely see you all tomorrow in my next video. I'm posting lots of them hopefully to get lots of subscribers. And I'm not saying I'm the best at this, but I'm doing my best. Please like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Sexy time, see you tomorrow.